Well, through the history of mankind, God-given rights were not uh, very much talked about. There were occasions when they were. Uh, the rights that we have don't come from any place else but from God. And that's resoundingly stated in the Declaration of Independence. Men are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. There is a God, he gave us our rights. And then in the very next breath they say, to secure these rights, governments are instituted, right? right? There's the whole thing. God's on top, people have rights from God. They use their rights and powers to form a government. For what purpose? to protect those rights, not to redistribute the wealth, not to take control of people's lives, not to dominate their existence, so protect their rights. Right? So the idea uh, generated throughout history, there, there, were, there were some monarchies in France and in other countries where the idea was, was prevalent. Uh, the Catholic Church recognizes uh, St. Louis of France as a saint, he was a king. St. Stephen of Hungary, he was a king, right? Uh, the, uh, living under him, you did enjoy rights to some degree. You didn't have the same kinds of guarantees that you have in the American system because the next king could have been whoever. And, and certainly some of those countries did end up with despotic kings. So the idea of novel, the, the novelty of the United States stating at its foundation that men are endowed by their creator with unalienable rights, it is novel, right? And uh, I don't know of any country that ever had that kind of a beginning. And as I sometimes lament, it can't be taught in the government schools today uh, because uh, the wrong notion of separation of church and state, which does not appear in the Constitution, has been altered to uh, separation of God and state. And the answer to that, in the, as far as the schools are concerned, is not to force my idea of religion into the schools, no. It's to get the government out of the school business, right? The tenth plank of the Communist Manifesto. Free education for all children in, they say, public schools, Marx did. No, government schools. Why did Marx want that? It's obvious why he wanted all children in the schools that the government would indoctrinate them. We have a lot of that going on in our country today, and it's, it's not good. It's certainly hurting our country. So the idea of, of uh, God-given rights is novel, and it's enshrined in the Declaration of Independence.